Ladies and gentlemen, you've all heard of the Hollywood Ten. Well, we couldn't afford to bring them all to you tonight, especially since half of them are in jail. So instead, we bring you the West Coast living room debut of the act that shocked the nation. Five instead of ten who have no intention of going to the pokey. Here they are in an act of daring. An act, in fact, that dares to scream its name and every other name. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Alice and the Wonder Lads. Hey, Alice, where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? We missed you here in Hollywood. I've been on a trip. On a trip. What a trip. So tell us, did it do you any good? Well, did you get arrested? Well, arrested is what I almost got. Arrested? But how can that be? Come close, my little lads, while I take off my mink and tell you all about my fabulous trip to Washington, D.C. The nation's capital, up where they wrap it all into a nice little nation. Oh, yes, it's gorgeousness. Well, that is, unless you are under investigation. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Let's take it slow, boys. I bought a swell Chanel suit and a hat by Lily Dashay. A hat by Lily Dashay? And these darling pumps that match my darling purse. Tray chic, wouldn't you say? We couldn't say. Sure you could. A new trousseau so I could go to the city. Washington's a city? And testify! Testify? Yes! I thought it would be best if I testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee. HUAC to you! HUAC, 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 HUAC! That's pretty good. I wore not a trace of red. Not a trace of red? Not a trace of red. I may be a blonde, but I ain't dumb. Not a trace. And I kept my dosphedonias down to a minimum and swore off caviar. That was smart. Then I went into those hallowed halls where best threw Truman's balls. We're not touching that. Neither did she. I put my hand on the Bible and took an oath. An oath? An oath? Do you have a lisp? Yes, an oath taken by many other dames. I swore by every morsel that my very fat popper ate that I would not be shy, that I would cooperate. And? And, like a three-course meal, first I fed them salad in the form of a torchy little ballad. Are you now, or have you ever been in love? In love! Do you now, or have you ever seen the, the stars, stars up above? above? And if the stars were red, would you put the stars in jail? No, no, no! Feed them bread and water, and then deny them bed. Are you now, or have you ever been in? Well, that ballad put them in a wonderful mood. I had them right in the palm of my heart. So I revved it up for the big main course and served it a la carte. A little ditty I call naming names. I started naming names and couldn't stop I named five of my six exes and a Michigan traffic cop I named my kindergarten teacher rest her sweet but commie heart I named my cousin from Milwaukee and a dancer from Montmartre I named Hildegard, she's German, a crowd who's well endowed Then I named Miss Ethel Merman cause that broad is too damn loud yes. I named a peck of names I must confess and for color, I named Porgy, and for balance, I named Bess. I kept naming names, oh, my list went on for miles. And you should have seen those senators, miles and miles of smiles. I named names I used to know from the chorus. I named Abbott, 
and Costello. I mean George and Dolores. I named Moliere and Racine and Rachel Crothers. And for reasons that seem clear, all four Marx brothers. So they liked you. Oh, they loved me. They asked me to sing and I sang. Did you ring that Liberty Bell? Well, it's in Philly. But yes, I'm sure it rang. And next time I go back to Washington, D.C., I'm gonna take you loyal boys with me. Not Crosby, Sinatra, or Dick Hayes. No, 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 they don't know the game of naming names. We'll all keep naming names to get ahead. To get ahead. I'll name Shakespeare, Shaw, and Ibsen. I think those guys are dead. I'll name my chauffeur and my butler, I will not name my cook. Would you name your sweet old granny? If it gets me off the hook. Yes, we will gratefully play their game of games. The, the shame, shame us and blame us because we are famous. 